Say it. Say it with your chest, you fucking coward. You're just like all of them. You're just like all those pieces of shit. I'm in your fucking head. I'm in your head. <laughs> then you go, I'm back. Welcome to the podcast where we talk about anything and everything that comes out of the crapshoot. I'm your host, JD. This is my co-host. The guy at the chair and Aquaman, they, they fucking kicking their asses, man. James. I call him James. Everyone else calls him Jimmy. It just works like that. It's a little bit strange. A lot of things have happened this week, James. I'm going to fucking kick your ass. <laughs> By a lot of things, I mean, probably not that much. I mean, I haven't really heard too many things going on, but apparently you I'm not- have. I made a list. <laughs> you, you made a pretty big list. I, 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 I list. didn't. I didn't realize it was this big. I I don't. I don't know if we've covered a few of these already. Did we talk about uh, Cassie getting whitewashed by fans already? I don't think so. No. I think I talked to you about that on the side, but I couldn't remember if I talked to you about it on the podcast. Yeah, you sent me a picture of it. I think. So just to quickly go in depth, uh, and just get it knocked out and out of the way, because it's a very small thing. Like it's not like yeah, a it's very just a small thing, thing, huh? Well, it's it's not a small thing, but it's like it doesn't take much. Dude, I, I'm not. I'm a, dude. Cassie's not real. Okay, she's not going to date you, man. I'm I don't sorry. give a shit. She's not real. Really? <laughs> 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 I never heard you say it like that. Where you're like, yeah, really? <laughs> no, but um, Cassie uh, by fans is already immediately from FNAF. Whitewashed. By the way, if you don't know what you're talking from, about, Cassie, from sorry, FNAF. Cassie from FNAF Ruin. Security breach ruin. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's getting whitewashed, and now some fans are whitewashing whitewashed art already. <laughs> <laughs> it just never ends. It's just a cycle, I, you know. I sent you a thing of it, and you said I don't know, but to me, for some reason, them making her skin more orange and changing the hair color to be more blonder. I mean, so what? They make her, her the whiter. same race as Donald Trump, I mean, like, and Starfire. I mean, come on. Orange people hey, deserve, hey, how dare deserve you, how a dare voice too, man. Star- hey, no, hey, how dare you put that on Starfire? She doesn't deserve that. <laughs> oh, sorry. She's not orange anymore. My bad. No, she's still orange in the show. She turns orange when she uses her uh, fire powers. Oh, I see. Oh, because but fire also, is like orange-ish. Mm-hmm. I get but it. But also in the show, uh, or I guess Starfire in general, it doesn't matter if she's black because her original character design is literally based on a black model. So, like, it doesn't fucking matter. I mean, that's a little messed up. I didn't man. want to talk about this for long, JD. I always said on one shit, sentence. Man. Do you say one sentence? I know, but you're going to send me on some tangents, man, because I, <laughs> I hate it when people are like, why, why is she like that? It's like, I know, well, you just can't you let really it be, can you? It. Well, it's like, it's the whole problem with the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles thing where people are like, they made April black. April was literally black in the original comics. She was just made into a ginger white woman after that. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, like, Cass- Cassie. We don't gotta. We don't gotta get into it. But yeah, Cassie's getting whitewashed by artists, and now some artists are whitewashing the whitewashed art as a way of quote unquote fixing it. Yeah, this is a trend that TikTokers do when they find people whitewashing uh, uh, people of color characters. Um, yeah, usually like uh, with the Spider Man movies, people literally were drawing Miles, a black teenager, as a white blonde boy. <laughs> Hey, I mean, I just, you just gotta say it. it's just the exaggerated swagger of a of a what was it? Oh crap, I forgot the term for a bla- it. I I I said it for you, a black team. No, no, not that one. Oh. It was the uh, the blonde dude with the blue blue eyes. What do they call him? Uh, Chad. <laughs> well, either way, he'll come to me. You gotta keep going. Yeah, but um, yeah, this was a thing that a lot of people were doing when they would see people whitewashing character like people of color art so they would make posts called fixing it where arguably their art would be better <laughs> that they drew on top of it it'd be like oh damn you're <laughs> I like, actually I like the concept artist. that art could be wrong <laughs> it I, i'm not or one to say hey, you're, you're right, right yeah i'm not one to say you're doing it badly but like if you're drawing something based on like a character that is depicted as this <laughs> then it's wrong and and then you go no they're white <laughs> No, you I don't take think so. And a lot of when people go, were hmm, making arguments sometimes. for it. <laughs> some some people are making like outlandish arguments for it. Yeah, where they where like with Spider Punk, uh, they would go, "Well, no, it's based on it's based on the uh, PlayStation Spider Man art, where white Spider Man wears a Spider Punk outfit." Despite yeah. the fact that Spider Punk is a black character and that the art is actually the like. 
yeah, to explain uh, it, uh, since yeah. you haven't seen it, sorry, to explain I, it. I haven't seen it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> in the movie, Spider-Punk's design is not the same as the the uh, comic and PlayStation version, which the comic and PlayStation version are very similar, whereas the movie version, it's much more, <laughs> he's just wearing, like, a mask with, like, clothing. Oh, hold on a second. But in the Paul, comics, he's wearing, like, You just keep suit. talking. Yeah. Um, but the art, people are like, no, it's just based on the PlayStation art. No, it's based on the movie art. It looks like how the movie design is. It looks like the torn shirt type style and whatnot. The way the eyes are drawn and whatnot. It, it's it's very much so the based on the movie, but you made the character white. Mm-hmm. And it's just it's just a big problem. Is that people did that a lot, and now people are doing the inverse of that, where they're making already whitewashed art more white by making it like the white people who like do the super gross kind of orange tans. Mm-hmm. So that's <laughs> super that's, gross orange tans. I think it's terrible. I don't think I've ever seen a person who looked good with it that was white. An orange tan? A, yeah, the orange tan. I think it looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it's not even what, like the person said making it canon to the game model. It doesn't even look like the game model. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just canon to the game model. It's so bad. But well, it doesn't yeah. look right because the lighting is a little off, you know? Dude, a lot of people do that as well. I, from the person who did blackface video, a lot of people also do that. <laughs> yeah, it just gets on. That's it. Just gets on James's Jimmy's a bunch. Black. I sent you a video. <laughs> it, it does because it's like you you cannot do it. It's very easy to not do. Well, I mean, what do you mean you can't do it? You just did it. Look at it. It's right there. You're right. That video of that woman in the Target. <laughs> but also, apparently, that woman it was having like a mental breakdown. And she's what? Been off no way! Her, no, I think I think no, she's so fully in her this mind. Is the back, this is the background. She she is very uh, like possibly schizophrenic. Her family members have come out stating she has been like they've been trying to find her. She's been off her meds. No, she refuses no to excuse. take them, and she does this sort of stuff because of it. I'm not saying it's okay. <laughs> I think it's still <laughs> terrible that she does this, uh, but I think that there is definitely a level of okay. So then this is a good lesson in getting proper like. Is a good lesson treatment. in taking your meds. <laughs> in, in, it's not a bad thing to take medication for your mental problems. Yeah, don't be ashamed that you're weak and you need meds. Like, come on. I mean, so there's a that's bunch of people who are weak us. and stupid, and you know, yeah. I mean, sometimes it's just that it's just that way. So yeah, that that uh, I found a video of that lady in a Target asking about a price. I mean, yeah, you could say it's it. not your fault, but you still have to take meds because you're weak. I mean, I'm just, just so just do it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so moving on yeah so moving on uh ryan cannell or as we love to call him truck rant guy uh he's you love to call him book. i haven't i still haven't seen a single video of him yet other than the I, one you, that you sent me like the little I, clip that you sent me we don't need to watch any of his videos because i've tried watching them like yeah, we don't need like, to watch the, it we just need to watch it to make it a to make an opinion on it you're right. No, I've watched them to make an opinion. That's why I'm saying this. Uh, there's also a video where I got these pictures from, by the way. So this is, uh, he's making a movie or he's writing a book? Because this looks like a book cover uh-huh. <laughs> to me. <laughs> this, these look like they're the cover of a book, but apparently these are movie posters he's making. Yeah. And, and what was uh, the movie about? No fucking clue, dude. I can't find it anywhere online. <laughs> All I know is that one day Ryan Canell. See, like they're trying to censor him, man. They're trying to censor him because he's he's saying the truth. He's this saying the truth that would put him in trouble, man. This isn't censorship. It's not it's, censorship. Oh, why can't you find it then, huh? Uh, because he hasn't posted anything other than the pictures <laughs> about it. But from what I'm aware of, it's a movie uh, that he's making himself. I guess. Yeah. Uh, it, hey, you know, passion projects <laughs> like that, you know, always support it. The indie devs, the, the small dudes, like, come on. It looks so cringy. <laughs> it's the giant leather trench coat, the leather button up vest, the knives in the vest, the black on black tie. It's not cringy. Shirt. It's cool. What are you talking about? <laughs> and then it's just Ryan Cannell's head on top of it. It's like, this doesn't, <laughs> these are all very contradicting. <laughs> It's just cool, man. You just don't understand style. Yeah, no. Yeah, I mean, also you and your button-up shirt, racist. nerd glasses, and uh, and oh, you know, wait, where are my glasses? Giant are space them? between your two front teeth. Uh, maybe you don't understand real style. Whoa, right hey, now. how dare you, JD? You know I'm self-conscious about that. <laughs> you dimples on your cheeks, like come on, man. You push up your glasses every time I say something. You're like, well, um, actually. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have thought about uh, wearing my glasses when I do those. Yeah, we got a, what do they call them? Like, um, fucking... Nerd uggos? No, like the the straps you wear to keep your pants up. What do, what do they call those? Oh, suspenders? Suspenders, yeah. You and your suspenders. And <laughs> I, I think I do own a pair of suspenders. I've do you have suspenders? I didn't think they were uh, actually like, like real, like anyone actually owned them. I thought they were just wears, like a movie thing. My dad wears suspenders because it's uncomfortable to wear a belt for him, but I have I suspenders see. that I wore for like work, but not much else other yeah, than I mean, that. I just wear pants that fit, so whatever. Okay, man. <laughs> sorry, I, I, I'm sorry I don't got a, a ass to help keep it up. <laughs> yeah, well, you should do some squats so you can get an ass. I do. It's not. It's, it's not there. It doesn't exist. It's gone negative. Uh huh. It's gone yeah. negative. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Ryan Cannell, uh, most well known for his racist truck rant and his racist. Hey, the truth will video. set you free, man. Come on. <laughs> the truth, which is, I think, a Bible quote. <laughs> is it a Bible quote? Yeah, it sounds like it would be in the Bible. It sounds like it would be in a lot of things. By the way, I'm not sure if this is called green grass. I'm just assuming from the fact that the G no, is No, it's giant. G, G green grass, man. What are you talking about? A lot of people are giving them shit for that. <laughs> <laughs> Poorly designed logos. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's also there are two different logos on each on each poster. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, uh, he's 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 a he's a piece of shit. <laughs> I know you like him, like secretly. You just, you just have to say it, man. I'm gonna be honest. I keep getting his videos recommended to me, no matter There's how many a reason, times man. I tell, I tell YouTube, don't recommend this channel to me. They keep giving it to me. I mean, and I think you, it's because I keep look watching him it up. Or? No, I think I. It's it's this thing that YouTube does where like I'll look up one random YouTuber every now yeah. and then, just like once to see what their newest videos are, because like during the whole Ben Shapiro talking about Barbie thing, I looked up uh, Ryan Cannell. Didn't watch his video, just like went to see what he was saying about it, like looking at YouTube titles and whatnot, looking at other YouTuber titles. And I didn't like stick around to look anymore. Left. Nope. I gotta go. I'll be right back. Yeah. You know what? I gotta Riff. go I'll too. So I'm gonna grab some food. And I'll yeah, back. pause. Pause it right here. I'm back. Oh. Welcome <sighs> back, James. <sighs> Man, are you ready to continue what you were talking about? Which I forgot what you were talking about. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey. You're talking about the, the movie? Uh, the uh, Ryan the new, Cannell movie? Yeah, the new blockbuster that's coming out from Ryan Cannell. Yeah, man. Classic Ryan Cannell uh, thriller such as Spider-Man Lotus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't that come out already? It did. It came out t two days ago, and I am not going to watch it. What? I thought we were going to watch it. I mean, we could watch it, but I'm not oh. going to like watch it on my own. Oh, I see. I, see how it is. <laughs> I refuse to watch it on my own. That shit looks ass. Are we still going to do a commentary track on it? or? Yeah. Here, we can upload that to your channel, since that's what a discussion mostly is for it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um. Why? We, we yeah, you've been hearing about it. You've been hearing good things? <laughs> No, I haven't been hearing good things. Really? <laughs> Quite the opposite. Hmm. Uh, I wrote uh, Spider-Man Lotus came out and the racists love it, but basically only them. So you have Even... heard good things. <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, just because I heard a good thing come from somebody's mouth doesn't mean I'm going to take it. <laughs> well, I mean, you've heard good things. But from yeah, bad but people? Not, yeah, but not. it's like if I heard Grace Randolph say, no, 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 this is a good thing. I'm not going to believe her. Yeah, but that's, still, that's still, but that's still a good thing, you know? Oh my god, I'm getting a fucking phone call from my sister. Hold on. <laughs> okay, James. <laughs> List out all these topics, yet talk about none of them, huh? <laughs> yeah. I hope you enjoy that. Anyway, though, I'll list off what... Um, what I was thinking about Spider-Man Lotus, I totally forgot about it, to be honest, for like the uh, longest time, ever since uh, the things came out about the people behind it, and then, uh, yeah, and then it kind of just got ditched, but now it came out, um, I don't think I watched it on my own either, <laughs> you know, I do like Spider-Man and all that, but I like more the official Spider-Man, I guess, rather than like fan-made, 
stuff for Spider-Man. And I also don't like Spider-Man enough to watch the uh, the best inc- the best recent depiction of it, Spider-Verse. So <laughs> there's that, I guess. Anyway, though, I want to address. Back. Sorry, my sister okay. was telling me about the Flash having uh, coffee inside of stores. The Flash. Yeah, like the Flash movie, there was advertising yeah. for oh, okay. like it on coffee cups inside this like specific store. Mm. Oh, it was like Batman. Sorry, I'm like waving myself down because I'm sweating. I I just did a lot of heavy lifting and running back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> My dad orders groceries from a place where they pack it all inside of like giant boxes. So you gotta like pick up the box and it has like thirty different items packed into it. And I'm oh, running back cool. and forth from the car bringing it. In. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Spider-Man <laughs> Lotus from that leaked scene we watched yeah. uh, of the Shocker fight looks bad. The, <laughs> the fight scene with Green uh, Goblin that I recently found looks even worse. <laughs> and, and I'm keeping Green in Goblin's mind that these, in it. I'm keeping in mind that these are un- yeah he was also racist. Uh, I'm keeping in mind that these are <laughs> that these are unfinished uh, scenes. They don't have the CGI on top of them and whatnot. Yeah, but I'm also I'm thinking of that. And I'm thinking of, like, that doesn't change it. <laughs> it doesn't change how bad the scene is. I mean, it doesn't change it, I mean. It, it doesn't change that the Shocker's costume looks pretty bad in that when he's standing on top of that car just shaking around because he's supposed to be, like, vibrating from the suit. Mm-hmm. He looks dumb. <laughs> he looks so dumb. No, it's fine if the suit doesn't look, like, the practical suit doesn't look good. Just CGI over it. <laughs> no. Yeah. Not not in their budget because they lost their VFX team right away. <laughs> what? They all quit because it turned out they were helping racists make a film. <laughs> Dude, I, lo- I love people who are like, you got to forgive them. It's just how they were in high school. It's a long time ago, man. Like, they're just no. kids. They're just kids, man. I don't give a shit. I went to, kid- I went to school with kids who were like fucking Trump heads. I don't, I don't like them. I think, they're, I think they're all still pieces of shit. But what if they grew up and now they're different? I don't give a fuck. I remember what they said and did. I mean, they wore fucking t-shirts with some pretty horrid shit on it. You changed too, James. I mean, come on. Yeah, but I also wasn't as far down a rabbit hole as they were. If you get too far down, you can't climb back up. Yeah. Once you dug yourself in deep enough of a hole, you can't really just kind of pick yourself up and get out. So you believe there's no redemption, huh? Uh, Not for everybody. (laughs) I'm not going to be a fucking dumbass Christian who defends Hitler. (laughs) <laughs> that, that's a thing they do by the way is when like you hit him with the so what about hitler and they're like if he said i believe in god before he died then yeah <laughs> like no 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 i got a special place in heaven <laughs> can't <man>. say that <laughs> yeah man they put him at a little uh, kid's table in heaven <laughs> oh it, I, I hate i hate that fucking like Everybody is worthy of redemption. If you have done enough bad shit, then no. If you haven't yeah. gone that far down a rabbit hole, then sure. What if you've only said bad shit? It, it depends on the bad shit you said. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. Like, did you say some terrible fucking shit? Did you make some very horrid comments? Hmm. Like, like I hate the whole fucking, they're just words. Yeah. Words do a lot of fucking damage. I know they do a lot of damage to you, James, and it's just because you're No, they do a lot of but... damage to mostly everybody, JD, as much as people want to believe. Oh, words can't hurt me. That's not fucking true. That's not true at all. Uh, I don't think <laughs> words can hurt liar. me, James. I mean, they're just words. You ready to find out? They're not, they're not bullets or anything. I mean, I'm pretty sure words hurt me less than, than guns will. JD lives at. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for these yeah. words to hurt you? <laughs> I you actually you if you straight up said this whole if, you, time. if you've straight up said my address right now where I live exactly I'm pretty sure that wouldn't affect me at all at least for like the next yeah, twenty years what would probably do yeah I'm, there's nobody in the audience <laughs> number one our audience isn't big enough number two no one cares enough to actually find out where I am one, maybe if well, I was a bit no, more no, famous no, then on, it would be hold on JD if we said your address on the PizzaGate episode <laughs> <laughs> I mean I don't know I don't even know. I don't even think those guys will probably care enough to walk run out here and find me or whatever yeah, yeah, Jane, they wouldn't they wouldn't come out to you they'd send something to you yeah they'd send a bomb to you <laughs> they'd send me a bomb <laughs> a bomb 
like what a word bomb i'm gonna open up a letter and it's gonna be full of <laughs> yeah it's gonna be a riddler full of profanities where you solve the answer and it says i am a bomb <gasps> <laughs> it's a riddler uh riddle where it's like uh what is <laughs> <laughs> i am a bush <gasps> and i'm like justice and i get blown up <laughs> because the bob straps to like this bob strap to like my scissors neck <laughs> explodes. i was gonna say it's your dad, dad going, <laughs> yeah. i don't know i don't know man this is fucked up i just <laughs> your dad go the question is what is a strong female character oh i don't know i don't know come on dad you know this amber from invincible come on you know this you know there's been plenty of it in history you've been there's plenty of it like uh uh ripley uh, he's a like, yes no <laughs> <Go on. laughs> he's not a strong ripley female character that was a weak female character I hated her. Well, no, I think she's movie. a strong character, but I also think no. if you like remove the fact that she's like a female, it changes nothing. So it's just you wrote a strong character, not a strong female character. That's true. You're a strong character that just saw it be female. Yeah, like if you made Superman not a man, I think it would still change like his story. Same well, like if you Supergirl made Supergirl or something. That doesn't exist though. <laughs> yeah, then Supergirl <laughs> isn't real. She can't hurt you. <laughs> she fucking like tears off your ceiling. Like, what'd you just say? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, fuck, what, what, Spider Man Lotus. <laughs> Damn, that's how we got weren't here. You, weren't you done talking about Spider Man Lotus though? Or that's it? Yeah, we, I'm done talking about Spider Man Lotus. We'll watch it, but like, I'm not gonna watch All it. Right, what what other political terrible. thing you want to talk about to dump on, <laughs> to dump on this podcast? Mm -hmm. Speaking of political things to dump on this podcast, yeah. Montgomery Brawl. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh my god, you aren't aware of the Montgomery Brawl? Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh my god, JD, it's amazing. It, it's, it's I know amazing. It's, it's FNAF related, right? It's what? Is it FNAF related? No. Okay. Then I have no idea what it is. <laughs> uh, so Montgomery is this place in the US. Uh, it's uh -huh. a, like a city inside of uh, some one of the states, I think Georgia or something. Yeah. Montgomery, Georgia or something. Uh, basically, what happened? So I have a video of a guy talking about it, but let me see if I can find a video of it. Well, so why don't you, can you watch just it explain it, James? Instead of me, yeah, I'm going to talk a lot of me it. while watching stuff explain <laughs> things, and you so, haven't explained it much. So uh, <laughs> there is this uh, this like bay where they're parking boats and whatnot on the dock and everything, and there's this group of white people inside this boat. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're they're kind of in the way. It's a small boat, but it's taking up a large space. And they need to park a new boat that's been uh, supposedly waiting for 40 minutes mm -hmm. for this boat to move. They've been asked several times to move. They won't move. So what was originally assumed to be a security guard was actually the co-captain of the boat waiting in the dock. Mm -hmm. Went onto the bay, asked these people, hey, can you move? Yeah. They did not. Sure. Time and time again, I mean, they did free, not. You know, it's a free and country. Then, you can do whatever you want. Well, no, <laughs> you can't use that excuse here because there are rules. You got to follow them. I mean, there are rules, uh, but you don't have to follow them. But then if you don't follow you do. them, there's things it's, that you just happen. In this well, case, I mean, did they? this isn't, did they? They this didn't. Isn't like, so there you this go. isn't like a bay where you just go and like park your boat for the day and then like go wherever. Mm -hmm. They had like, these were like drop offs and like uh, jump on type thing. They were doing tours. This is where that was. And they were in the spot for it. Yeah. So they were like, uh, I mean, it's like at an airport. Tours are cringe anyway, off. so. Sorry, what did you fucking say to me? I said tours are cringe anyway, so. I fucking kick your ass. Wait, <laughs> you're like secretly a tour big, guide or something? Big, you're like, what you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love tours. <laughs> I fucking love tours, man. Every time I go to San Diego, I go on that duck tour. Every time. Every time. Every time. Every time. I love that boat. <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> no excuses. No matter how much money I have in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no they were they were on like a tour they were waiting a bunch of people were filming the interaction like a lot of people on the boat were filming it there's like 20 different angles of this brawl but how it starts is it's the white brawl. people the it's a brawl <laughs> it's officially a brawl <laughs> it's a fist of cuffs <laughs> it is and we'll get there but how it starts out is the a very old squat kind of fat white guy gets out of the boat yeah. And he starts fighting with the co-captain that was trying to get them to move so they could dock. And he's, like, pushing him, pushing him. And he, like, shoves him to the ground and everything. The co-captain gets up, takes off his hat, and throws it straight in the air, and you never see it land. 
it's because it went into the stratosphere. That's why it didn't land. Uh, it actually set off a signal, and we'll get to what signal that was later. A signal. <laughs> <laughs> and so the co-captain and the uh, white guy are fighting and everything. They're tussling around, and a bunch of other white guys, two of them that were on the boat, three that came out of nowhere, come up, grab the co-captain, throw him on the ground, and all six of the guys together, not very strongly, but together, are beating up this uh, co-captain. Mm-hmm. And a very important part of the story, the co-captain was black. He was a middle-aged black man. Mm-hmm. And these were all a bunch of, like, maybe, like, late 40s and then, like, maybe 30s. Like, late 40s, 50s, and then, like, a bunch of kids in their 30s. Yeah. I'm saying kids. Kids, kids I'm not in their 30s? Than them. James, if I'm, like, I'm going to need you to Jesus redefine. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to change your sense They're of reality, just dude. Kids. <laughs> They're just kids. These man. men in their thirties who are a bunch yeah. of fucking like frat looking dudes, all the same haircut and backwards hat, uh, no <laughs> what, shirt they combo. Never grew out of high school or something. Never grew out of high school, but like they're all like beating up on this guy together. Yeah, that's pretty. And funny. in comes our first hero, <laughs> first guy hero. who our first hero. You see uh-huh. him on the dock in the background when that hat goes in the air and him and the guy start tussling. Yeah, you see this guy move because like you just see his legs at first but you yeah. see him book it and then you see because they're like in front of a staircase you see him coming down the stairs as all these guys are ganging up on him huh. and then you see him run up and he fucking makes room he starts pulling him off the guy and everything and he starts like making space and like helping him like get away from him and then okay. before this this video okay this, this specific white video knight. Cuts off, white knight but he's black uh this black knight uh <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I guess. laughs> yeah I think that should be his official hero name because everybody in this brawl has received a hero name, by the way. Uh, we'll get to that. Everyone got a nickname? <laughs> Everyone did, dude. It's amazing. There's a song. There's already a song. This happened like a few days ago. <laughs> it's it's amazing. Um, mm. And before the video cuts off, you see one last thing. A man is swimming to the dock from the boat that was recording and waiting the dock. <laughs> he's swimming he jumped off he's the in boat the water and started swimming to go help the man that was getting ganged up on mm. and this is my favorite thing they finally they move the boat and they start to like i think they dock maybe or these are different people recording but once mm-hmm. this happened we have a new angle that's like on the dock filming it and there are more black people there who are there helping the the co-captain who is getting his ass beat by all these white dudes Mm-hmm. They outnumber them so much. <laughs> they are beating the shit out of these people, dude. <laughs> They're like, you fucking, all six of you ganged up on this one guy. Fuck mm-hmm. you. And they just start fucking them up. Jesus. It, it's legitimately a brawl. They're fucking beating the shit out of them. <laughs> uh, these three guys show up and they all, they all have like the same energy as each other. And there's like two guys kind of left at this point. And they're they're like they're like you're not gonna fight us you're not gonna fight us and then they both turn around for some reason they turn around and they start slowly walking away as if they didn't just like beat up this like middle aged man these three mm-hmm. dudes run up and fucking sock both of them in the back of the head Jesus. and start beating the shit out of them my god uh, uh it, again the camera cuts we get a new angle from somebody why else can't we just later. talk these out why can't we just talk uh, it out because people? because the white family decided to escalate it the ass so fuck them uh, <laughs> that's true if you start getting attacked by someone then you, you revoke you revoke your right to talk you if if you've decided to gang up on one person with six guys and this guy was legitimately just asking you to move your fucking boat because you're not supposed to be there you're not the good guy Man, you are totally, not the good person totally not an overreaction anybody else is the hero <laughs> by any means of the word uh, a chair enters the mix, JD, and this man has received the nickname Chairman. I forgot to bring it up. The guy that swam, he has yeah. received the nickname Aquaman. Aquaman? Aquaman in reference to Gucci Mane. Okay. And Aquaman, <laughs> because he swam ashore. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> it's, it, dude, it, it, people have made comic art of them already. They made, like, a comic of this fight, this brawl. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's it's awesome. There's so much of like of this situation already that people have referenced. Uh and they this guy at the chair comes up, he fucking bashes somebody with it, dude. He fucking wails on them and whatnot. It's great. Hmm. They're fucking like hitting them. They've got him cornered on the boat now. They've got him cornered. <laughs> they they've got like <laughs> some of them aren't there anymore. There's like maybe four people now and they're on the boat. And they're fucking like they're trying to like pull out of there. 
and the the crowd is like, no, you don't get to walk away anymore. <laughs> oh, hold the, up, buddy, where you are you going? It's like you should have done. <laughs> it was like that. Uh, what was it that where like Gillette, Gillette ad for the? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The, the one yes. Gillette ad where like the dude like. The dude the sees like a dude girl walk by him. The black guy like puts his hand in front of him. Yeah, and the, just, like, shakes his head. the dude. The dude like sees the girl walk by him and he turns around to try like hit on her and then the black guy's like, no, no, you don't do that. <laughs> yeah. It's the smirk and shake in his head. Yeah, that, yeah like that's that. it. <laughs> dude, they it's literally so pull funny. them off the boat and they like, dude, it's amazing because like there's people in like blue shirts who I'm pretty sure are the actual security of the dock that are trying to like separate them and then the white people start hitting them. <laughs> that's never a good idea to hit security and or police it's officer so good with a gun. because you see one of the security officers this woman so there was a light white lady that also joined in on the fight among the six <laughs> other guys oh you know? she was joined in on it and you see the one of the security guards this lady she turns around she fucking grabs the white lady by the back of her hair starts fucking dragging her around what throws the her to hell? the ground and fucking wallops on her dude she's like you're gonna fucking hit me when i'm trying to help you fuck you <laughs> She's beating her as they're all fucking fighting again. And guess what, JD? When the police show up, yeah, the white people aren't happy to see him for once because most of the police officers were black. Mm -hmm. So they're like, oh shit, we can't use racial profiling to help us in this case. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They get arrested. Wow. It's it's a it's a hero story. Uh, the bad guys lose. This sounds insane to me because it just sounds like everyone got, like, heard the, you know, the, the Kingsman, that one scene in the church. <laughs> yes. I, I haven't, I haven't watched that movie, but I know they hear like a sound that makes them like insane or something. Technically, really Jay, technically there was that. Remember the signal, the hat? <laughs> yeah. Like the hat goes flying and everyone around them just <laughs> turn into bulls. When they see Dude. red, like <laughs> the color red, so they just start <laughs> getting involved in this brawl. It's so good. Oh man, I want to find you like clips of like the different guys. Also, people have parodied this so much. I love it. <laughs> there, there is such good parodies already of this. Really? Yeah. It. Oh yeah. Somebody's. Somebody got beat so fucking bad they broke their Crocs and were wearing them on their ankles broke their crocs yeah like they ripped through their crocs and were, how do you like, rip through that ankles. must be really cheap crocs or something <laughs> wait hold on i have a really good vi so i'm sent you a a video i don't know if it's gone through yet it doesn't look like it has it looks mm. like it's still sending but uh here's another video i'm sending you that i'm just the first one's almost finished sending mm-hmm the second video is more of a meme one, but this first video, like I said, kind of goes over like three of the main points of it. Yeah, I'll take a uh, quick peek at it, I guess. But the second video is my favorite because it's a meme video of it. <laughs> just, to give you, just to give you a gist of Oh my god, they edited people. it in. <laughs> that the end game like portals. <laughs> it's also strange portals. Music. It's, it's so good. Like, again, the, shiny, must the cops there, they're kind of just standing there letting it happen. Like, they're like, you deserve this. These were the two guys that turned their backs, and those three guys on the left specifically ran up and beat their ass. Hmm. The guy in the blue shirt on the right, not the one in the back who was also a cop, but the one on the right is one of the crew members who was getting, like, beat up while trying to help separate it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, so on that first video I sent you, <laughs> this is a video that gives you a bit of, like, information on it. He's like, hey, here's the co-captain. It's actually this. This, the white family, was, <laughs> uh, had caused wrong. problems in the past. <laughs> they're, they're notorious offenders. Hmm. And three of the guys, the white guys, are ones that got charged. Uh, but not, no one else so far. Dang, James. Yeah, that's, uh, guess that would happen. Mm -hmm. This is very important because, uh, also another thing about this is that the, uh, this oh, was, man, the I thought they, I thought they the would be like seen. more in shape, but now I'm like no, looking at them. And no, they, <laughs> there was like a few guys. They've got like the shape, Elon the Musk like build. Middle. Yeah, the rest are like Elon Musk. <laughs> but uh, this like was, skinny, as the fat video build. says, it's the birthplace of the uh, Confederacy. Birthplace of the Confederacy? Montgomery? Yes. Yeah, I, I would think that, actually. Yeah, Georgia, And the said? riverfront is where uh, they paraded slaves to be sold and whatnot. Cool. 
No. That's a piece of history right there, James. <laughs> yeah, a piece of history is cool, but not the the information itself necessarily. <laughs> but yes, this was a very big moment because it's like, fuck you, you don't get to like use your privilege here. All these people came together to beat their ass. <laughs> I just like the beatings. A lot of videos have gotten taken down because they use the uh the actual like fighting in it and whatnot. So it's kind of well, like, yeah, it's obviously it's a, well, it's violence, you know, real violence. So yes, you can't. So you can't <laughs> I'm pretty sure that goes against TOS. So unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, James, um, I know you just want to see a bunch of people get their ass beat, but uh, <laughs> it's for just reasons. <laughs> well, I mean, what are reasons for? You know, you can't have the kids watch it. Do you? <laughs> you know TikTok's viewer base. I don't know, JD. I I know this you is a know. perfect segue, but I'm gonna have to ask again that we pause because I gotta go again. Okay. Sorry, this is a very no. Don't be sorry. Podcast. Be better. Okay. I will be when I get back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll see you. Okay, I'm back again. <laughs> Welcome back, Mister. Apparently this, you know, this podcast that we've done weekly for a very long time now just means nothing to you. It does mean nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it means the world to me, JD. Yeah, so that was the um Montgomery Brawl. The Montgomery Brawl. <laughs> Let's talk about some lighter topics, huh? I know you have some lighter mm -hmm. stuff in there. Uh the Reddit gave you a stroke. What was that all about? <laughs> <laughs> so um a post was made about the Rooster Teeth podcast oh, uh, on the Rooster Teeth subreddit. It's always something Rooster Teeth related. It always is because God, do I fucking that's, hate because that's people. the thing that you care about, and that's why that's where you get so angry at it. Yeah, it's it's like it's that, and then it's like I'm glad to know you have something you you you're so passionate of, so I can make fun of it. Yeah, so I know what your weakness is. Like Transformers and stuff. Yeah, Transformers. Again, the Rooster only two Teeth. things I use Reddit for is looking at the Transformers community, because other than that one post, I like it. Yeah. And that one post where they were assholes for no fucking reason. Well, I mean... I mean it's yeah. positive overall. I mean, they were so right, like you know. <laughs> they weren't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's in this new post, it was talking about the hot topic issue uh, involving the Rooster Teeth podcast, which recently underwent a uh, slight change. Mm -hmm. That change being the main cast. Yeah. Uh, the main cast of the Rooster Teeth podcast since basically the beginning have been well not even since basically the beginning because for a while it was just uh, Gus, Bernie and Gavin mm -hmm. or sorry Gustavo, Bernie and Gavin uh, and then um, that changed when they introduced Barbara onto it and she became a main cast member and then uh, every now and then Gavin or Barbara would get subbed out or sometimes Bernie would get subbed out and Gustavo was basically there for every single episode. I see. I mean, when you change the main cast of anything, you're bound to get some hate no matter what. So. Yeah. And it was it was it wasn't like a thing of like they were fired or let go or anything. It was literally all three people that were still doing it since Bernie left uh, like a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. He left the company and retired, but now he's also come back to help work on some final projects and stuff. Uh, so he's mm. back technically, but not for stuff like that. But um, he, uh, when he left, a lot of people were like, I'm not watching this anymore. Bernie's gone. And it's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was like, okay, cool. Nothing changed about the podcast, though. Like, it, there wasn't like a different vibe or anything. They just did the same stuff. And then they like did some new stuff. And that's it. And I now that they've changed, kind of sussy. Yeah, and people are like, "Oh, so they changed some stuff," and I'm like, "Not really. Like in the overall, not really." <laughs> it, I don't know, man. It's Sounds them like having the same to me. fucking discussions they have in every other version of it, and then it's like, yeah, of course they're gonna have new stuff. They're missing a person. They have new people on. They're they're gonna do new stuff. <laughs> they're not gonna just have the same fucking conversations. Uh. But yeah, on top of that, uh, they've recently, within like this year, uh, about a month or two ago, they mm -hmm. the main three people, Gavin, Barbara, and Gustavo, stopped mm -hmm. doing the podcast because they didn't want to do it anymore. Like they physically did not like feel like they could keep doing this anymore because they were, they are, all three of them are old, man. Are doing 
other podcast where they have the same discussions oh, as the yeah. ones they have on this. I forgot they're like they're like <laughs> they're probably like five different podcasts. And that's and that's what I tried to explain because like to me it makes sense because I understand. I I've seen what they do. I've seen like them yeah. talk about on other podcasts where they openly discuss. I had to stop doing these podcasts because I have to do these podcasts and these shows. And then yeah, with this podcast, you just get burnt like, out, man. Yeah, they get burned out. They got burned out on doing this podcast. And they're like, we, we've we quit other podcasts we were on. Other podcasts we were on got shut down because we couldn't physically do them anymore because of burnout. And now we're saying we're not shutting this podcast down. We're just not going to be the host of it anymore. We love it. And they've come on as guests, like literally almost all three of them. They haven't done Gavin yet. But Barbara, they've done, uh, I think Jeff has been a guest on one of the episodes. Well, that's because that's Gavin died. You didn't hear so that's a that's a joke they made when they had Gustavo on as a guest. They're like, they're like, well, Gus, you're here because we reanimated you. You you died according to the community. You died, and that's why you don't do this anymore. <laughs> Even though he does like eight other shows, he's like, still. you won't let me live. You won't let me <laughs> die. Let me die. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, do you believe? It? <laughs> wow, Joss Whedon, what elegant writing you have. <laughs> <laughs> You know, um, I like how you, I know this is a little off topic, sorry about this, but I just got this message, a DM from William, and I like how you both make fun of, like, uh, white supremacists and, like, racists and stuff, but in different ways. Yeah, how does William do it compared to me? <laughs> he just sent me this meme. <laughs> okay, I'm scrolling down Here, a take, bit. take a look at this. There you go. I thought waking up early would only make me a millionaire. Why waking up early in is rooted in white supremacy. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's got an hate alarm set clock. to hate crime. <laughs> hate crime AM. Man. That's pretty funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. Anyway, back to your uh, Rooster Teeth podcast thing. Uh, yeah, so... I, Who's the new blood, huh? The, the new bloods are actually people who've been on the RT podcast when it was hosted by three original hosts more than several times. They oh, were very disgusting. They were very, I don't even know who these guys are. Where they come from? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> JD, you're saying this? <laughs> those are literally the comments, and I'm like, F when was the last time? Well, any that's because you watched they've watched the it as much as I have, which is zero. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but Jaylee, what they're saying is that they're fans like me, and I know that's not true. <laughs> Because then they would know who these people are. But yeah, it's... but they're more like fans like me, <laughs> where they don't watch it at all. <laughs> uh huh. You no, know, what they really are is that they're fans of one very niche show inside of all of Rooster Teeth, and they've only watched that. But now that they've heard that there was a there was a cast change, they've got to go and check it out, and they've got to leave a comment on every single one of the new oh uh, my woke new segments that they post, <laughs> and they got to tell them ah, RT went woke. <laughs> got to tell them you've changed. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Archie went woke, man. I can't believe they hired these uh, three nobodies. What do you mean? I mean they've been don't you know that when you go woke, you years? go broke, dude? Like, sorry. <laughs> sorry. What do you mean? Most of these people have been working for, here for almost eight years. <laughs> eight years? I mean, I, I didn't know that meant last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It's 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 oh man dude i fucking I, I like i don't want to get like caught up on it but i do hate it because it's like so annoying well it's because you got uh, like so angry at them you had to like didn't you have, like stop or something you like turn off the yeah, so, or like, what, how, what, how did that get to that point you just go just argue with them over and over again and so it was like i was explaining it to people people were like uh no they've changed and i'm like no if you've watched the new podcast like the new episodes of it it's literally the same people having the same conversations basically they're still just friends sitting in a room talking about topics that are relevant to the time it's recorded it's changed that's what it's always been that's what the old podcast was this is what this is the only difference is they make a skit for the video version of it where they film it at the beginning it's a skit it's very funny sometimes i think it was very funny this time when they had gustavo on <laughs> it was very funny i liked it uh but there's a skit at the beginning as the intro and then they have a dedicated segment for a game instead of just while doing the show their producer will come in and be like, hey guys, we gotta do the game now. It's now its own dedicated segment where they cut to it. That's the only difference, but literally it's it's the same fucking show, and everyone's like, oh, no, because what you just said, that's changing. And it's like, no, it's not though. The content is still the same. They nah, just James. added one thing. Yeah, you don't, you're, you're not, you know, you're not listening, James. It's different, okay? No, There's different you're people. Not that's all, that's it's automatically different. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's, it's inherently different right there. It's the same thing, it's just neater. 
<laughs> I like I said this, and I said, yeah, they're just playing games as like a reoccurring segment for every new episode, rather than just like every now, like every like ten episodes, they'll do a thing, or like for a series of episodes, they'll do. Uh, a you know, game. I'll agree with you, James. They're doing the same thing, but it's like with new people. You know, new eight-year-old blood, fresh blood. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, eight-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's it's like these are people who have been on the podcast who have guested multiple times. They are what I would say are some of the funniest people at the company as well. Yeah. Uh, they they like literally they got the best people to replace them as they could have. And people aren't even like giving it a chance. Also, people are keep saying they're like oh, RT classic paywalling. And it's like, got him. What the fuck are you talking about? It's literally free to watch. Paywalled, man. It's not paywalling. It's free to watch. James, effort walling is the same as paywalling, okay? Because time is money. It's the same as opening the YouTube app. You just go to Rooster Teeth instead. Time is money, James, okay? Okay, so don't go to YouTube to look at it then. So if you spend a little bit more time to to go to their website, that's money, dude. That's paywall. Same amount of time. You just... (laughs) It's the same amount of time. (laughs) (laughs) Um, like, I hate to break it to you, James, but they're right. Like, I, no, yeah, I kept getting in redundant conversations where people were stating the sh- same shit to me, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Get a bunch of downvotes, too, on your... <laughs> I, I don't care about comments. the downvotes. Like, I, I, I couldn't have made that more clear. Like, I don't care about the downvotes. I care about getting this out. And people are like, you're saying it as if it's a fact. And I'm like, it is a fact. They are doing <laughs> the same shit they've done on the podcast every other fucking episode. There are 700 episodes. They've done the same thing. These are just new people doing the same thing. <laughs> There you go. That's inherently different. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you got it. You got it. New people, but same. Oh, come on. That's like that's like <laughs> that's same. Like, that's a contradiction right there. <laughs> that's a same, contradiction same, right there. Different. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking James Franco. I mean, it's not the same people, and it hits different. I mean, that's just come on. You're, it, it is. It, it's people who've been on it before, people who've done this before, and they're still doing it again. I, 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 I was then getting in an argument. I need to pull. I was getting in an argument messages. with like. I gotta pull it up so I can like quote it to you because like it pisses me off every time like I see. Because you, like, you got. Guy, I could tell. I could tell the anger from like your. It's. Like, it's I was already angry because you know? people were being so fucking dumb about it. Like. No, clearly, I, like, what I said was, the people who are angry about this are not people who have been watching the RT podcast consistently. Because if you have, then you know <laughs> this is no fucking different. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's so, what you, I said. You said to me four days ago <laughs> at 1.42 <laughs> a.m. Yeah, dude. I always kept up from it because, like, I kept getting notifications. And I'm like, oh, I've my stopped. God. I've deleted the notifications and I'm just going to put on some songs or something. They are fucking dude, children. Yeah. I'm arguing with actual infants, which I agree dude, with it, you. It, I've been telling you that this entire time. But you just, <laughs> you, you just like, I don't know if you just didn't believe me or you. <laughs> well, I think you said something like, I don't care that they're infants. They need to, they need, no. <laughs> okay, they're infants. I think that's what they you said to me when I was like, James, you got to start arguing with kids. And stuff online. You're like, no, 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 James. They need to know, okay? <laughs> no, JD. It doesn't matter if they're kids. They need to understand. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine, like, uh, you're saying this to me, but it's like a bit we're doing where you're like, you're like yelling at this like, this like toddler, like this like newborn, <laughs> where you're like, you, you don't know anything, okay? The Rooster Teeth podcast is the exact same. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to like give up. I know that's probably how I did come off, but I'm not trying to give that impression. But, like, genuinely, if you think it is fundamentally, like, a different show, then you are saying that because you have not watched it or you are being blatantly biased. Because me, I'm looking at this unbiasedly as someone who didn't really care for the RTP. I just, sorry, I say RTP because I keep fucking, like, abbreviating it for conversation. But there's the podcast. Yeah, Yeah, we know what it is. Yeah. the If you've watched the old RTP... And you're going to this as someone who liked the old RTP, but then like really care for it as their favorite show. Watching this new thing, this new thing I feel is better because it's more neatly put together mm. in the form of what, the yeah. way it's like cut up. Yeah, it's like because uh, it's v- no it's longer like VMs, voicemails. Yeah, it's <laughs> like uh, like VMs, voicemails. Mm-hmm. 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 Did uh, you get my VMs, voicemails? <laughs> <laughs> That was a Velma bit, by the way. Uh, that's been, that's been, I know it's been ancient. Yeah, hey, I haven't history, watched it. There's a clip of it online as like one of the least funniest clips, or like as an example of why it wasn't funny. I'm like, yeah, this is pretty not funny. 
Dude, I love. I'm gonna start using are, that. I love people who are treating like the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or like any fucking new animated show that comes up. They're like, "This is the new Velma." I'm calling it. It's like it's not. No, it's, it's the not because new- <laughs> Velma. Velma is so corporate, like attempting to be like, "This is what people want, right?" Yeah, this is what people want. It's like, no, what? Yeah, Nobody I mean, likes this. I think you liked it a lot. I think you would like it if you watched it. I've I've tried watching it. No. I, I, <laughs> Did you try I watching it? I I thought I just you would never try. My, That's what I you have said my problems with, like Mila Kunis in general, and I've like tried watching some of it. I can't, and then like I just watch like comp, like uh, people going over it videos because I can't stand it. Wait, who'd you say you couldn't stand? Um, not Mila Kunis. <laughs> Sorry, that's a completely different person. Uh, <laughs> yeah, try, uh, and try again. Okay, <laughs> Mindy calling Mila Kunis. Is, is it? Is it because every time, lady. every time you when you hear a voice at all, but you just hear Mindy Kaling and not actually a voice? Yeah, I feel like <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like they're not doing voices for these characters; they're just doing their normal voices. Yeah, so it's like what I. Normally. It's my problem that I have with Shaggy is that he's not like doing a Shaggy voice. Which, as much as I hate, oh, the, I fucking hate the movie Scoob. I hate that movie so much because it's so bad. At <laughs> yeah. least, at least the guy that does the Shaggy voice tries to do a voice that isn't his normal voice mm-hmm. like tries to do a shaggy voice it's not a good shaggy voice no but it's a, it's something it's <laughs> it's, it's an effort right? it's more than hey i'm shaggy it's it's I don't it, do drugs it's more than hey did you get my vms voicemails <laughs> <laughs> by the way shaggy is the one who says that joke <laughs> i assume sorry not shaggy it's norville so right <laughs> yeah. norville that's also a thing. It's like, why just call him Shaggy? Just, but it's not Shaggy. It's Norville. It, okay, what what are we talking? We're a stupid podcast. <laughs> yeah, one guy. So here's my original comment. Uh huh. Verbatim. I'm gonna read it word for word. Sure. I feel like most people who ate the new RTP haven't actually watched it or haven't watched old RTP for years because it literally is old RTP with new hosts and some game segments. That, okay, the conversations let me stop you right are there. still that's the same odd, that's thing already as before, wrong. I'm gonna have to just see. friends talking and chilling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't get to cut me off. I get to finish that statement. <laughs> well, I mean, I can cut you off whenever I want to. I'm the one editing no, this. No, no. Uh-huh. Let me just <laughs> but yeah, note it's... down the time stand. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was like, it's the same thing. There's just de- dedicated segments for gaming now. And new host. And that's all that's changed. But the conversations are still the same. It's still the same show. It's it's like they're still they're just new people having the same discussions. That's where you don't understand this, James. The show is the people, James. If it's new people, it's a new show. It's so, like it's like the Eric Andre show. And if you replaced Eric Andre with Hannibal, it wouldn't be the Eric Andre show anymore. It'd be the right, Hannibal it'd be show. Better. It'd be better. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I want to say this. When they replaced Hannibal on the show, it yeah. changed. <laughs> I didn't I didn't really like it anymore after that. I, I felt like a part of it was gone, the charm. Yeah, exactly. That's how these people feel. And you know what, JD? I'm actually a psyop. I'm one of these people. <laughs> <laughs> no, Eric Andre's show is still the same and whatnot. Like it's they, they just know, got new cause. Um but I got 20 down votes on it as of right now. Get right. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'll continue with this statement. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you with a mouthful of food. Your favorite thing. Well, what are you, Hassan? Mm. How's the pie? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. So good. Did you say be right back? No. Oh, I thought you said be right back. <laughs> and then he just starts sitting there eating. <laughs> Why did you could have just you could have just not said anything. <laughs> okay so i got 20 down votes on and then the one of the replies i got which was like from this guy that was being so weird about it like i just like he's the reason i had to stop interacting because like he broke my brain with like what he was doing yeah, he was, was like clearly me. trying to he was, he was so clearly trying to provoke me but i and was you like you fell for it <laughs> no but i would be honest the calmest reaction i had <laughs> <laughs> he he's like Looks like more disagree than agree with you, mate, spelled M8. But please, <laughs> re like a child more. Got him. So I just told you to seethe, <laughs> cope and seethe. I know. And that's why I was like, okay, question mark. I was like, what? <laughs> what? Stream what for? 
<laughs> that's what that that's what that feeling is what it felt like to me when you read that comment so i think this guy had prepared comments because when i said okay question mark his response was go on period screech some more do a little dance <laughs> gotcha <laughs> I'm like, wait, what does that have to do with me saying, okay, were you expecting me to say something different? Dance a little bit, huh? You little clown. Do a little dance clown with your, with your, with your clown shoes. <laughs> Go on liberal. <laughs> <laughs> so when he said this, my immediate thought was, you are fucking weird. So I wrote, you are fucking weird, dude. And his response was, it's Reddit. We're all weird. What's uh, also uh, weird? Want, he's it's right, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's not <Funny>. wrong <laughs> keep austin weird brother <laughs> okay <laughs> you know what doesn't kill you just makes you weirder <laughs> that's a quote from the uh the dark knight <laughs> no doesn't he say stranger <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i just made i just made him say weirder instead because it's a worse sounding word Okay. <laughs> so his, his response to me saying you're fucking weird again was that it's Reddit, we're all weird. Uh, period. Uh, then he puts like a space, like disconnects the line so it's like goes further down. Mm -hmm. He like tabs it or however you like return, whatever the button is. And then he goes, What's also weird? It's not letting others share their opinion that isn't yours and just saying that they are wrong because they don't 100% agree with you. That's oh. weird as shit. I never yeah, said that. Again, Dude. I don't know if this guy was expecting a different conversation because I never said any of this, even in the other conversations. I all I, I didn't like say like I mean, you can't not enjoy it. That's fine. You didn't say it. I was James, just but saying, you, implied you can't it, say it's a different show because it is the same show. Like that's what I was saying. I'm like, <laughs> you can't say it's a different show because fundamentally it is the same. Exactly. You're you're invalidating anyone who says it's a different show. But it's Come not. <laughs> I'm not telling you you can't enjoy it or you can enjoy it. I'm just telling you, it's not a different show. <laughs> by by, literally all the basis of being, this is not a different show. These these are not new stories. These it's not like they have a different format. It's the fucking same. Well, I'm just saying, James. If everyone else thinks it's a different show and you're the only one who doesn't, I mean, what does that mean? I'm not though. I'm not though. There's people in the comments who agreed with me. That's why I'm like, what the fuck are most of you saying? Because like people were agreeing with me, they're like, "Yeah, no, I like it. I just, you know, I like the old cast more." Yeah, so no, I like the new show. And then you just yeah, start like true. shaking in your brain. <laughs> like, no, no, you don't get it. <laughs> yeah, like it's that's what the comment like, I should I'm make doing. on your post. <laughs> I should just make a random account that says like RT Enjoyer, and then I just comment like, "Yeah, I like the new show." <laughs> yeah, dude. If get, you get see ready. that comment, you 100% know it was me. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever get the little notification on my phone for r slash Rooster Teeth has a new post, yeah, I like the new show. I'll just I'll just start sweating, <laughs> knowing what I'm about to see. Start sweating, all right, dude. And so RTP isn't like paywalled or anything but it's not on youtube anymore is the thing because they want people to go to their website and stuff they want more interaction with their website uh -huh. so what they did is they just moved rtp to their website but guess what you can still watch the whole thing on youtube because they upload it in divided segments mm -hmm. so hey for all the people that are like just upload the full thing just watch all the segments just se they segmented it man that's, that's it, a paywall. It's, no it's not right there <laughs> there's again you don't have to pay to do anything. I mean, you have to pay for internet. You know what? You're right, JD. It is a paywall because you got to pay for internet. Because <laughs> you have to have an internet connection. You have to have a device to watch <laughs> it on. Like, come on. You're right, man. How dare how dare Rooster Teeth do this to us? <laughs> yeah. Have, have they no shame for this economy? Only well, you know the times we're living in. Gas prices are out, out off the roof right now. I, Bob Iger, am disgusted at this. <laughs> how how could these writers be doing this in a time of what we, what is still COVID? So I, I Robot <laughs> Will Smith, my favorite movie. <laughs> it, it's so yeah, that's that's it. Uh, I had a stroke from it, or like more more or less, I did get a nosebleed. <laughs> did you? Did were you I, like I straining and got a nosebleed, or were you just <laughs> no? At just some a random point nosebleed. Involved, 
I think either that morning or like the next day, I woke up with a nosebleed though. <laughs> like at some point I woke up with Your a nosebleed. Your brain's like hemorrhaging from this conversation you're having with it, you It's trying to comprehend what this guy specifically was saying. <laughs> no, but no, at some I, point I did get a nosebleed. I, I'm not equating it to this, but I, I'm fine with saying it did cause it. I see. I love how I found this GIF. When I typed in strain face to try and like, <laughs> to try and like show I what you were acting know. like, I love this. I love the first GIF I found was like this Asian dude like straining his face and then the white dude straining his face. I'm like, that looks like me and you. <laughs> we were it is. It. <laughs> so he's trying to let you know that so is funny. us. <laughs> yeah. That's just us arguing about like the most stupid thing. <laughs> um. <sighs> So yeah, other than that, uh, I got banned off Reddit, uh, not Reddit, <laughs> Instagram for like an hour. Cool. Uh, I called someone a bitch and they said that's a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> they mass reported my comment as a hate crime because they were losing. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, it wasn't a hate crime, but you know, it's kind of. Kind it of wasn't, stuff. but according to Instagram, even though they like let me have my account back. They're like, eh, it still counts. And I'm like, no, what, what he's saying is actually no hate crime, though. <laughs> From, like, the original discussion, what he was saying was objectively him making fun of, like, a person, like, in a hateful way. <laughs> like, him, him targeting, like, an aspect of their person and being like, this, I hate. <laughs> this, I hate. I, robot. <laughs> <laughs> I, robot, hate. <laughs> All right, Chase. Well, I mean... That's good to know you're so in tune with the um, the kids on social media. Speaking of the kids on social media, yeah, JD. Well, speaking of the kids on social media, thank you for enjoying this week's episode. On <laughs> yeah, sorry, I was gone for so long. <laughs> we didn't get to get through all of it. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, like I mean, we can just continue next week. Just save all the, delete all the stuff that you were talking about here and save. So it as JD does this outro, I'll say it all. Uh, so McDonald's is doing a new thing where they're no longer doing celebrity By, meals. They're uh, doing next as week, seen in I this mean show and Sunday. Because we do this uh, every uh, Sunday. Uh, if it's you enjoy, like, hey, this, you should like, this you should subscribe. Show if you like James, uh, his links are in the description. Go check them out. He like, streams on Twitch. In history, like, and hey, Christopher Columbus, that's what about it for me. Hey, Christopher James, Columbus is like, I bring us out. Good for it's like, no, that's not a good thing. That's a bad thing, Christopher Columbus.